Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, fellow musicians, listeners, fans of music in general. Um, I have something to talk about. Bazooki. Specifically, a resonator bazooki. Um, ordinarily, a bazooki is made of wood, the body. Uh, you'd see a sound hole in the center, much like on a guitar. And, um, but this is a very unique instrument. Uh, if we'd like to take a closer look. Here. All the way down. Um, so if you've seen a resonator guitar, or steel guitar, or whatever you want to call it, um, you know that inside here there's a bunch of springs and, and things, and it resonates the sound. <laughs> Like that, and um, before I pick a tune or two on here, um, some of you are probably going, "What the hell's a bazooki?" Um, the bazooki is related to this being a mandolin. Most of you know what a mandolin is. Um, it has eight strings uh, set up in four pairs. So there's Two strings, two strings, two strings, and two strings. Uh, and um, the Greeks originally used the uh, the bazooki very heavily. It looked quite a bit different than even the Irish versions of it. Um, and uh, <clears throat> but the Irish got a hold of it and said, "Hey, we like this. We like the way this sounds." So they they applied their own tuning to it and their own philosophy behind building the bodies and and stuff like that, to get the sound that they really wanted, and, um, and it's, uh, this is in an Irish tuning right now, it's a D, A, D, and G, it goes a little something like this. Forgive me for that. Yeah, sounds about like that. Really unique instrument. Um, the Tyler Mountain Company that made this one um, in 2005 made 12 octave mandolins and 12 bazookis in this fashion. And only six of each of those had the engravings. So this is one of only six that exist that are just like this one. Um, there is another company uh, called Ozark, um, which runs out of the UK, that also made uh, resonator bazookis, although it's unclear how many they made, and uh, it may have been a similar, highly limited um, run of these instruments. Uh, fun thing about having a resonator is having a slide. Puts up a whole lot of possibilities for using the instrument. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I've got another bazooki to show you. Once again, a little different. <clears throat> oh, I know what you're saying. It looks like a guitar. Um, this, uh, I do not know exactly how this instrument came to be. Um, 
but um, I picked it up second hand, and uh, it looks like an Ovation. It's not made by Ovation. It's some kind of knockoff, but uh, once again, it has eight strings in uh, four pairs, and uh, has a very wide neck on it. This is this is a neck that belongs on a 12-string guitar. Um, uh, but the nice thing about it, and I have this tune differently, I have this tune the same as a mandolin, so it's E, A, D, and G. Um, but the nice thing about the, uh, about the uh, wide neck is if I want to play chords, I get a nice, open, full, and rich sound. That sounds pretty nice. And, um... Sorry if I uh, missed a couple notes on there. It's not really geared up for performance. Just wanted to talk about the instruments. Um, and you'll see these in use with, uh, with the band Jig to a Milestone. Um, hopefully that's how you found my video. And if you didn't find it through the band, then you should check us out. Uh, www.jigtoamilestone.com We are also on Facebook. Um, and uh, we play a lot of Irish music. And, uh, and throw a few surprises in there, too. But uh, I hope you'll enjoy it, and um, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.